The greatest challenge that we've had delivering the, the website for Shell is, is definitely scale. We're talking about not one site, but 60 sites. So there's the, the corporate.com site, but there's country sites in different languages. The volume of content is, is, is huge. We're talking about around 27,000 pages, and we've really got a lot of um, internal stakeholders uh, that we have, to, we have to keep happy and we have to deliver something that, that works for all of them. So I think a focus on stakeholder management has been really key to the, to the success of delivering these websites. We've had to deliver a product that works for many different parts of the Shell business. So some of our stakeholders that are represented on the website uh, would be Shell Retail, who are a huge global retail uh, concern. Actually, they have more retail outlets than McDonald's um, worldwide. So, um, Shell Careers. Shell um, uh, has a, a, an ongoing need to find and recruit the very best graduates from, from universities across the world and the website is the primary channel that they use to, to, to do that. Um, we have um, Shell Chemicals, one of the largest chemicals companies in the world, Shell Aviation, one of the largest aviation uh, uh, fuel and lubricants companies in the world. And these are just some of the stakeholders that we, we have to work with and ultimately we need to deliver a product uh, that works for all of these different stakeholders uh, and that delivers their individual business objectives. So I think one of the, the things that we did very well was we encouraged engagement between the agency uh, team, the Radley Elder team, and the Shell team. And we, we worked in different disciplines. And I think in most of those disciplines, we really managed to, to cross-pollinate the teams so that we had Radley Elder people and Shell people working absolutely seamlessly together. We identified around a dozen factors, uh, things that other people were doing on other websites uh, that we thought were innovative or that we thought were you know, delivering real benefit to these sites and to the companies that uh, were represented on these sites. And I'm happy that we managed to tick most of those boxes. So um, we hypothesized that if we, could, if we could compete and win on these dozen or so factors, that we would deliver a quality product. So I think for a company like Shell, um, one of the big challenges that we've got is taking what we do in the digital world and making it relevant in the real world. In our retail stations, um, we, we, we know an awful lot about our audiences who browse our site and we know what kind of products they, they buy and therefore we've got an idea of what kind of uh, car they drive. And I think we've got a, a real challenge to make sure that we're making the most of that data to, to offer our customers a better experience in the real world when they're uh, away from the website. So a big issue that we, uh, we've talked about a long time on, on the project at Shell is around personalization of content um, and delivering a personalized experience that's, uh, that's relevant and meaningful to the individual that's, that's browsing the site. The, the Shell website has a lot of diverse audiences, so uh, someone visiting the site because they want to buy um, lubricants for a, uh, an airfield is a very different type of audience than a journalist who's coming to the Shell website to research a story uh, about an exploration project that we're, we're doing somewhere in the world. Um, and I think if we, can, if we can use technology and use the user experience, get the user experience right, the next challenge will be to deliver an experience to the user that's personal to them and that gets them to the content that they need soonest.